Okay, I think we're live, Ryan. Right? We should be live. I got a new notification from Rick Brown. He just went live. Yes, I am live. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, 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 hey. there we are. Oh my gosh, that's an ugly picture. <laughs> Thanks, but <laughs> Oh, I was talking about myself. Oh, yourself. Okay. Come on, I, I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything mean to you. Hey, Facebookers. Through the magic of electronics, Ryan and I figured out how to do this from, from beautiful downtown Colwich. But actually, I'm in Poughkeepsie, and he's in, uh, where are you at? Somewhere else. So we're, we're actually remote. We're not sitting next to each other. Yeah, I'm part of the new Space Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been in space for a number of years. I'm on my way to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> and Ryan, I have I have meeting notes that I'd like to post out to people. That's great, but let's we just got this started. We got people joining. Let's give people time to, to actually oh, get connected. Okay. I think I learned after our first experience that we tar we thought we'd start at seven and get rolling, but it does take people to see the notification on their end, get their computer connected and up and running. So turn your sound on. Turn your sound on. Turn it up as quietly as they want it. Yes. So let's give people a little bit of time to uh, get connected on their end. Well, I'm ready because I have I have notes here. So those of you that are on right now, which we got, it looks like eleven or so already on. Sound good tonight? No one gonna respond to any of my questions? Come on, guys. Yeah, come on. Somebody knows how to type out there. Sounds good to me, Dan says. All right. All right. Good, Dan. Thank you. Jim. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I guess we gotta be patient on our end. We're seeing this live, and you guys are way behind us since you know I'm in Mars and. For those, that, for those that missed the beginning, they have no idea what yeah. we're talking about yeah. now. Do we know what we're talking no, about? No, no, I guess. That's the question. Yeah. So, but anyway, I have some news flashes here, right? Uh, first of all, the June 4th club meeting is going to be another Facebook Live event. Uh, the governor's easing restrictions for this COVID-19 thing, but still we can't have a large gathering and we still haven't talked to the Nature Center to know what their rules are going to be. <clears throat> so until we find that stuff out, we're just going with Facebook Live. Yeah, well, everything I've seen, the, the numbers on gathering, you know, they're opening more things, but the size of gatherings actually, what was planned for is actually went down. So. It was going to be around 30, I thought, but now I think it's lower than that. So I think July we're going to even be trying to figure things out possibly. We'll yes. see. We're trying to be flexible. So in that in that June 4th meeting will not be on the club uh, group page. It'll be on our main Flatland Fly Fishers Facebook page so that we can reach a bigger audience. So with that being said, we're still st uh, haven't picked a topic yet for the next meeting. So we're we're looking at several different things. We need to hear from you, the club member, on what you might want us to do. So some of the topics that Ryan and I have come up with are we could do a meeting on urban fishing, in other words, fishing around the Wichita Sedgwick County area. There's a ton of lakes around here, with, and we'll talk more about that app later, and that you can go and fish or public waters, and we've been, some of us old guys have been hitting these places, and we're uh, what catching fish. Old guys hitting these places? I've been fishing them too. What the heck are you, are you am, am, I, am I now part of the old guy crew? No, 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 no. no. You're not old enough to be part of the old guy crew. Dang, man. But, you know, we have some of the younger guys are coming out and learning from us old guys, so. Uh, but anyway, that's one topic, urban fishing. The other, the other topic we could do was is just our standard fireside chat would really work well on this format. 
And if this video is all coming out like we think it is, then, then this will be a perfect setting, the studio that we're in right now. And then the other thing is we could do fly time. How about that, Ryan? Fly time, huh? I don't know how to do fly time. I don't either, but we could make an attempt to, to do some fly time. So how would you do the fly time? Well, we'd have maybe, say, three, four guys in the studio here. And an uh, example would be you would tie a fly, and then I would tie a fly, and somebody else would tie a fly, and then we'd get like three versions of the same fly, or uh, a streamer, a, a bluegill topwater pattern, or a nymph or a midge or something that we've been having success on. So. Okay. Now, we got a lot of new members. I don't know how many of them are on tonight, but Fireside Chat, yes, that's something the club's done, but we got quite a few people in the club that probably don't have any idea what that is. Who, what fireplace are we sitting by? Do we got marshmallows, hot dogs? Yeah. Come, yeah well, fill we, me in. Help me out, Rick. I, I don't get it. <laughs> the Fireside Chat is, is where we have three or four experts uh, sitting on the stage, or this time on camera, and last time we did it, we had Doug Myers for casting questions, we had uh, Neil Hall for rod building questions, we had Jim Keller for uh, fly tying questions, and myself for education uh, questions. So, and you, the audience, would ask us questions and we would respond to you and, and give you our opinion, expert opinion. And I'm apologizing for the interruption. Just before this, uh, my son decided to go do some basketball with friends and cut his eyelid open. So um, now he's trying to call me for some reason. So go ahead, Bill. Sorry. So, sorry. That's, that's fine. That's fine. So those are the three topics. If you've got a topic, send us send us a uh, response here. Uh, chirp in. Uh, uh, what do you call this thing they're doing? They're just chatting with us. Yeah, chat with us. Let us know what you guys are thinking, because we're flexible. We, you know, we've been around the block, the, the block once or twice, so it won't be our first radio. So we'll, we'll try anything once. Now and I'm gonna do the bad things twice. Um, I'm seeing a couple people say they like the urban fishing idea. Uh, Nikki's asking, could you do close up for fly time? Yeah, we can do close up for fly time. I mean, Nikki, you've seen, you know, I posted a video on the group page here a while back just playing around at home real quick. And then I know Rick did one where he actually talked. Uh, the, both of those we had cameras close and I, I think if we did, our idea if we did the fly tying it would be the same type of setup. We would just have people ready so one person would tie a fly, you guys could ask some questions while they're doing it. So we'd have... Someone doing a camera, someone tying a fly, and someone like me right now, I got my computer watching the chat to try seeing questions. And maybe I can see your question come in and ask that person tying and they might be able to show something again um, or explain something. And then, so there wouldn't be a lot of downtime when that person's fly is done, we'd move the camera to the next person and, and rinse and repeat and have maybe three, four different patterns tied. Kind of what we've been talking about. And so, you know, and that, could, that could be a group page thing or it could be a meeting topic. So either one and probably both maybe. Uh, moving on, on my list of things here, uh, I've had several requests and, and uh, people text me about Bluegill Fest. Bluegill Fest, as far as I know right now, is on. We're going to be doing it uh, sometime in mid-June to early July. We've not picked a date yet because I haven't talked to the landowner, but I plan on getting that done in the next day or two and coming up with a Saturday date that works uh, for everybody. Well, not everybody, because we're just going to pick a date and live with it. Now, the thing about the sand pit where we'll go out in western Central County at the at Ridge Road and 53rd Street is, I was out there here a few days ago and there's a lot of growth in the cattails there. There's not gonna be any block in the bank at this place. So if you wanna come and fish, you're gonna need a floaty device of some kind, kayak, float tube, 
small boat, uh, no gasoline engines, but electric engines are allowed, uh, kick boats, that sort of thing uh, is, is all that's allowed on this lake. And there is a boat ramp, so you can back your trailer down and unload a boat, just no gasoline engines. So when that information will send out as an email here in the very near future. So Bluegill Fest is happening. And Ryan, I have an update to the KFFC. What is the KFFC? The Kansas Fly Fishing Challenge. Oh yeah, uh, I, I think I've seen that on the yeah, website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And and we're you know we're up to eleven. I think I said 31, 32 people were involved to sign up to be part of the challenge. And right now we have eleven club members who signed up who have earned their bronze award. And the list of those names is in the last newsletter, but we've added two since the newsletter came out, and those people would be Mr. Allred, finally got fish number six and earned his award, and Paul Wilson uh, earned his award the other day. And we have a number of people sitting on five fish just waiting to get that one special fish to bite, whatever the species that may be. So uh, that's really doing, doing good. So get out there and fish. And, uh, uh, that thing. and now we've also added a new fish to the, to the species list. How did that come about? Well, we have a club member and this lady was kind enough to share a picture with us, post on her group page that she had caught a, a fish that she couldn't identify. So being the guys that we are, we sent it off to the fisheries biologist and he responded with that this fish is a warmouth. And a warmouth was not on the species list, so we have added that to the list. So if you catch an odd looking fish that looks like a warmouth, it probably is. And so we've added that fish to the list. So now we're up to how many ever fish are on the list, plus one. And I think you updated the website Yes. Sorry, my wife's at minor emergency with my son and missing the insurance card. <laughs> um, yes, the website's been updated to add it in the PDF file. If you, um, sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, downloaded the PDF file I created out there that has the list where if you want to mark them off, that's been updated too. So, all ready for you guys out there. Great. You know what else we got? Ryan, it came in the shipment the other day. The new club t-shirts are in. T-shirts? We got t-shirts? We got brand new t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing. And uh, let me show you the logo here. You're gonna, you're really gonna like this new t-shirt that we got made for, for club members. And it's out of the Coolmax lightweight material, nice and cool. So it's really got the, the, the nice, uh, Flannel and Fly Fishers logo on the front in uh, three colors, which I think is really, really neat. And then if you turn it around, we have a nice logo of the club on the back, which I think is uh, going to be a really nice showing our uh, club pride when we're out and about fishing. And not only does it come in short sleeve like I'm wearing, but it also comes in the long sleeve version. So you could have both, long and short sleeve. Now for, just so you guys know, the guy that's worked on these things for us, if you notice, this white box is actually the state of Kansas. Kind of a subtle little thing as far as the background and then to try making it not as much uh, ink on the, on, on the uh, graphic, it's kind of got fish scales on it this time. So neat design. Luckily, we got some good, some good guys that help out the club and stuff like that. Well, Ryan, if, if, if a person wanted to purchase one of these t-shirts or long sleeve tees, what would that cost us? Send a personal check to Ryan Allred <laughs> at, oh, wait, 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 sorry, sorry, no, that's, oh yeah, you got some prices for us. Let's say you wanted to buy an extra large shirt. Would that be short sleeve or long sleeve? You know, it's kind of warm right now, so what would a short sleeve? 
be thirteen dollars for a short sleeve extra large shirt. But if you wanted it in the long sleeve shirt, it would cost you fifteen dollars. Those are TJ Maxx prices. That's right. Man. That's right. We're giving you a really good deal here. Now, if you're like me and a larger individual and would be a 3X or a 4X kind of guy, a long sleeve would be $18 and a short sleeve would be $16. But if you're a little guy like Ryan who wears a medium, $13 for the short sleeve, $15 for the long sleeve. We talked earlier today, Rick. I wear a youth extra, extra extra large. Youth extra extra large. So Sheldon's asking about them being on the store. No, we're not going to have them on the store right now. And the reason for that is uh, the COVID-19 thing. Neil, they're at Neil's house. Neil would have to package one up, get it shipping, and then take it to a post office. And we don't want to expose Neil to any undue risk in going to the post office often. So I think the first opportunity we're going to have to sell these t-shirts to club members will be at the Bluegill Fest, whenever that may be. So that's that's kind of what we talked to the boss about. That's what he wants to do. I, Delbert was asking about the sizes. We go all the way. We did do small to... We did medium to 4X, I think. Maybe a 5X in there, too. Okay. Sure. So we go from medium to... These are all adult sizes, no youth sizes, so... Uh, or ladies have to deal with them, a medium. So uh, I think on my list here, we go up to 4X. I'll have to check with Neil. If you're larger than a 4X, I have uh, the old blue t-shirts, the old cotton blue t-shirts, I have four or five, four and five X shirts left out of that group that we'd make you a really good deal on. Yep. Make you a real good deal on those shirts. That takes care of that. So they'll, they'll be on sale soon. And then when we get back to normal, we'll put them in the store and you can purchase them online. If you buy one at Bluebill Fest though, don't bring a credit card, bring us a check or cash because we might not be able to use our square remotely from that location. Okay. I will, I do have um, some of the images of their graphics when we're picking this design, because this is all done way before and plan to have ordered uh, before all this COVID-19 stuff. I will send out an email to everyone with the images of the graphics so you can see them better and do the price list so you will know that, hey, if I want to pick up a large shirt and I want short sleeve, it will be this price. So, so you will have that information um, so that you could come to Blueville Fest and uh, be prepared as far as the money goes. So is the quality of the stream um, seem to be working good for everyone tonight? I haven't seen anything on my end. I'm guessing. Yeah, this is, you know, let us know about video quality and sound because this is a test location. And you know, we're out here on Wi-Fi, we're on the guest Wi-Fi. Uh, we're at the city of Colwich city building in their brand new refurbished, remodeled, uh, room that they have available to us and they make this room available to us for free of charge. We've had some healing water meeting here. We've used this room for fly tying events before. So if this all works well, this is going to be our uh, home away from home studio where we don't have to be in somebody's basement and we're out here just on, on public Wi-Fi. So that's the deal. Ryan, why don't you talk to us a little bit about Facebook room? I get some questions. Hold on, Ed. Pat. Yeah. Pat's asking about the new logo on the shirts at Logo Envy. That is where we have these shirts made. Yes. So yes, they should have. That's. The, it's actually. I mean, the back's a graphic that we used before, and it's our normal logo, just different colors because of the gray shirt. We wanted to go with a different color shirt, a darker shirt, and um, from feedback and other club members testing some things. They changed the colors a little bit just to make it look a bit better on the shirt. So yes, you should be able to. Um, yeah, if you want to go to Logo Envy and either take uh, the lady down there a shirt 
or buy one from them. They have a huge catalog of shirts, windbreakers, lightweight jackets, heavyweight jackets. So if you want to go buy a, a jacket and have our logo put on it on the front or on the back, whatever you want to do, just take it down to Logo Envy and she'll be, I uh, can't think of that lady's name right now, but uh, she'll be more than happy to do it. It takes her a week or two to get it done and she'll call you when it's ready. So yeah, that's, that's real doable anytime. If you want to have some fishing shirts made with the new logo on it, fine, you can go do that. That's all on your dime, so. But, uh, and I, I'm getting Joya. To, I'm the getting lady, The lady at, at Logo Envy's name is Joya. Hey, don't touch me, man. We're, we're distancing. Need some sanitizer. Um, I got people asking me about dates of Bluegill at Fest. I guess I keep kicking that thing up. We do not have a specific date for Bluegill Fest yet, so I will be sending out emails once we do it. It's probably going to be most likely later June or maybe the beginning of July. So the date's not set yet. It's forthcoming though. I mean, we've been trying to decide if we can even do it at all. And um, for those that have attended in the past, you know, we normally do like a lunch thing. We're most likely not going to do anything like that. It's just going to go out to a private pond, get out in the water and have some fun fishing. So. So bring your own drinks and snacks. If you want to have your own shore lunch, that's doable, but we're just not going to do the uh, community barbecue like we normally do. So that is that. All right, I think I got questions. questions? I, I, I think we're good right now. This is fun trying to be part of this and keep up with questions at the same time. and. Deal with the sun that's in my emergency room right now. <laughs> what a night. Okay, Facebook rooms. I put a poll on our membership, our group page the other day about these Facebook rooms. And I haven't spent a lot of time yet digging into them, but you know, in a format like this where I can talk, it's a little easier sometimes explaining at least what I'm thinking to try with it versus trying to write it. My idea is we have always had open fly tying night. Now we normally stop that in the summer anyways, but um, we had to cut that short this year because of COVID-19 and having to cancel those type of things. So Facebook rooms is, I know, you know you're hearing a lot of stuff about like Zoom video meetings and stuff like that. And that's really what Facebook rooms is like. And from what I've done, research so far, I could basically, I think actually any of us, it appears to um, have the ability to open a room within this membership page. But my idea is come up with some night for fly time and I would open a room and people can come and go as they please. So there wouldn't be a presentation, there wouldn't be um, anything special and it, it'd just be, People who want to tire, if you want to watch, and you take your own phone and connect to the room and put it close to the fly that you're tying. So kind of like when we meet for open tying night, we all just sit around and tie and then chat amongst ourselves. And that's the only part I don't know how that will work over something like this, but I figure it's worth a shot. There's nothing, it's kind of like what we're doing now. So far this seems to be working well given the circumstances, so maybe this is a way some of us could get together and socialize and tie some flies. I've done it with just a couple friends. I'm not in a Facebook room, but the same type of thing. Uh, and it was fun. I mean, we were sitting there tying flies and having a beer and, and giving each other, other a hard time as we tied. So that's what I'm thinking. And I'm going to try it at some point in time. I will schedule one and we'll just see how it goes. If it fails, we won't do it again. If it works good, we can try it again and, and just go from there. So hopefully that sounds at least interesting. And this is where I pause and I'm looking for comments, but there's a delay on your guys' feed. So that, that's the fun part about this too. So would you join the room? Well, yes, I would join the room in tie fly. Could I do it from my front porch? Anywhere where you have signal. I mean, that's what's nice. You can do it on the deck, do it in your basement, the 
garage, data, Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, depending on your cellular plan. That's right. So, uh, well, I know, are we getting some comments about, about that Facebook groups? The page, or the rooms? Uh, no, not yet, but Nikki's asking more about the shirts and she's just asking if we could get 100% cut and if we go, yes, if you go to Logo Envy, um, they have shirts there that you can buy and our logo is down there. So you guys, I mean, Rick's got like rain jackets and windbreakers and stuff that he's had that logo put on. So yes, if you go down to Logo Envy, you can actually get our logo on pretty much anything, anything you want. I mean, we she, don't- If you go down and talk to Joya, she has a catalog that looks like a phone book that's just full of shirts and jackets and summer stuff, winter stuff, heavy coats, lightweight coats, windbreakers, range gear. And you can take your own stuff in there too, and You right? can take your own stuff in there. So if you have your favorite cotton t-shirt, you can take it down there and enjoy it with print it for you. So you can do anything you want. Print it, and I know I saw Daryl um, in the club. He actually had um, some sewn instead of print. He had them. Yeah, you can have embroidery next yeah. door. So. so yeah, it's, it's really good there. I personally haven't been down there, but I've seen some of it and I know what guys have done. So they are very flexible and can do a lot. You know what I didn't put on this list? But why don't you go ahead and finish with the bat and I'll talk about the water bottle, maybe? Yes, I actually thought of that and then I forgot about it again. Okay, the only other thing I had, speaking of Facebook, is I wanted to quickly, you know, I send out these emails to everyone uh, like the other day and I talk about our Facebook page and our Facebook group and and I know, especially from a verbiage standpoint, that can be confusing. Like we're talking about, hey, the next I'm meeting. I'm confused. I know. I am too half the time, especially since I managed to meet Joey once too. Um, so our Facebook, when I say Facebook page, that's the club's main Facebook page. and. Its function is for us to be able to share information, um, education. Con education, conservation, education. just to try getting more information out to anyone who wants to follow us about fly fishing and things the club does. So that page, only the admins can post to it, but anyone can follow it. And since we did our Facebook live meeting, we are up to like a hundred or 530, I think some people following that page all over the world. I mean, it's, it's amazing actually. We have people in Europe and in Asia and Japan. Yeah. Um, so that's, when I say Facebook page, that's what I'm talking about. The main club page out there. Uh, the membership group is what we're on tonight. So that's something, Years ago when I redid our website, I tried creating a login area of the website for members to be able to communicate to each other, share patterns and all that, but it just, it wasn't easy to use um, and it didn't work very well. Well, fortunately, you know, we started using Facebook more and Facebook came up with these groups and I started doing research on these groups and they do exactly what I was trying to do on our website, but makes it a lot easier on you guys. So our membership group is just for members of the club. Um, when I get a request on this group, I look to see if they're a member of the club and then I approve or deny them. Uh, it's great that people, um, want to have friends, they, they're, they're enjoying this enough that they're wanting friends to participate in that, but I will only approve someone if they're a member because I want this to be for you guys and feel that, how do you know that when you're talking and sharing pictures, you're sharing them with the other members of the club, the people that if this wasn't going on right now, you'd be hopefully seeing most months at an actual meeting and being able to talk to in person. So those are the two things we have right now. And there I had just, oh, no, we go. Yep. Let it go. Yep. Um, so that's the difference between those when 
when I try explaining them. And you know, I handle the club emails. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, don't ever hesitate to send me an email. I do watch the club email and I try responding to everything. Pat wants to know when you're gonna get the logo tattooed. I guess he hadn't seen you with your shirt on. I guess not. You haven't seen his back? Oh my gosh. Well, you, honestly, you don't want to see the logo. You don't want to see the tattoo. Yeah, right? you, don't, I, you don't want I, that metal picture of me with my shirt on. I saw it once and I didn't sleep. I'm not kidding, for three days. Three days I could not sleep. I mean, my wife's like, you keep waking up in the middle of the night screaming. What's going on? I'm like, oh, I can't tell you because then you won't sleep either. So, all right. It sounds like people are interested in the tiny room as trying it. People are willing to try that. You know what we have coming in the, in the near future? What? We have Flatland Fly Fishing Water Bottles are coming. Where it'll have our logo etched onto the bottle. It'll be the A big and yeah, I want to say they're around 16 ounces. Sorry, I mean, Daryl's the one that's handled all that for us, but and I think they're around 16 ounces. And nice double with all the With all the shipping issues out there right now, the company that we're having these made at is doesn't have this particular bottle in the color we want in stock. Daryl says he's been checking daily, to, and as soon as they get in stock, we'll have those made and made available to club members through either direct sales at, at some event or on the store. Yeah. As we'll have the shirts on the store eventually when we can start having uh, meetings. Yeah, we just prefer, it's easier for everyone, especially since Neil does that kind of stuff, if we can do sales at events. You know, hopefully, hopefully before long we can start having meetings again, guys. I mean, this is fun, but it's not near as fun as sitting in a room with everyone. There's not enough trash talk between just two of us here. You know, if you get together with your buddies and go out and fish, which you all should be doing, trash talk is mandatory, okay? And rock throwing is encouraged along with high holding. So get out there and high hole your bud and uh, have fun, catch a lot of fish. Ryan, do you have anything else for tonight? I do not think I do. Well, guys, we're going to sign off here in just a couple of seconds, so uh, let us know how it was, what we did wrong, what we did right, uh, how was the picture quality, how was the sound, did we have any buffering problems throughout the whole thing, so let us know, don't, don't, just because we're not going to be here live doesn't mean you can't still comment and let us know how, how it went, so. I mean, the only thing I got is, I mean, on the meeting, for June, it looks like I had a couple people talk about the urban fishing and a couple mentioned the tying. We didn't get a lot of responses there. I don't, I mean, we could of course pick one. I mean, that's what we have been doing, but it'd be nice to get a little more. Um, and, and how about if I, after this, I create a quick poll on the membership page and put those three options because Fireside chat, we know who most likely would be involved in that. Um, the fly tying, we have some ideas. The, the urban fishing, which I do think is a good fit right now, that's a presentation that's gonna have to be built in a couple weeks, which is doable. I mean, I know I've offered to, to do that, and I know Rick would jump in and help me out, and so that is doable, but we didn't get a lot of feedback on that, so. I got another urban fishing. It's kind of leaning that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course, you guys are gonna make us build a presentation. Yeah. No, it's well, all we can good. build a presentation overnight if we have. Yes. So, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. And uh, right now is just about perfect uh, time to get out and start throwing some stuff at you, and maybe on top water. <laughs>